Okay, let's begin the class. Come and stand at the front of your mat. Find your nice, beautiful upright position. We're going to start the class with some roll down. So we we'll take an in breath. As we exhale, go and dive the head forward. Start articulating the spine down and find a little softening of the knees as you continue your journey down towards the floor. We inhale at the bottom. And as you exhale, press your feet down to the floor as you lift that lower abdominal up. Take your pelvis to a vertical position. Stack the lower spine, middle spine, upper spine, neck, and your head resting or floating on the neck. Let's do that again two more times. We in breath. Exhale. We roll down. Find that sort of individual articulation of that vertebrae, softening the knees. Once you pass that lumbar spine, tip that pelvis forward. Take yourself to wherever you feel comfortable today. Inhale. Exhale. As you press that feet down to the floor, you lift the lower abdominal up, taking the pelvis vertically, rolling the lower back, middle back, upper back, and find that beautiful lengthening upright long alignment. Let's do that one more time. We in breath. Exhale. We dive the head forward. We articulate the spine down. We take your body towards the floor, softening the knees. Now, can we take yourself all the way to the floor? Even if you have to bend your knees a little deeper here. Now we stay. Place your hands down on the floor. We're going to bend the knees. And then we're going to extend the knees, reaching tall. Straighten the legs if you can. And inhale, we bend. Exhale, we extend the knees. One more time, we bend. Exhale, we extend the knees. Now go ahead and bend the knees again. This time, we're going to take the pelvis down to the floor. Transfer your hands behind your pelvis and take your feet forward. And lifting the spine tall, take your arms forward. Take an in breath. As we exhale, Scooping the abdominal dip into the C-curve, we roll the spine down, sinking the sacrum down, lower back down, inhale, exhale, deepen the abdominal scooping as you peel the spine up again. Bring your shoulder forward over the hips and lift the spine up tall. Let's do two more times. Exhale, as you go into the C-curve, and then we roll back. Roll back, sink that lower spine down to the floor, in breath. Exhale, can we deepen the abdominal scoop as we peel that lumbar spine up off the floor and bring the body over your hips and then we lift the spine tall. One last one, we exhale, seek. Then we roll back, roll back. Now this time, can we stay in that chest lift position and we transfer your feet closer to your bottom. Have that feet hip distance apart and then transfer your arms down, head down. Release the shoulders down. We're going to take it to the pelvic curl. So we're starting the block with a warm-up block here. Take a in breath. Exhale as we scoop the belly in. Bring that pelvis posteriorly, go into deep flexion, press that lower back down to the floor, and then let's peel the spine up to the bridge jing position. We inhale at the top, exhale, and let's articulate the spine down. Release back, starting position, we in breath. Exhale, using your abdominal, take your pelvis to posteriorly and then print the lower spine. Then press the feet as you engage your hamstrings, lifting or articulating the spine up to that bridging position. Now hold this position, press your arms a little bit more to the floor as we lift the pelvis a little higher. Can we press the big toe down to the floor so your inner thighs are activating? And then let's breathe out, let's roll it back down again. 
one vertebrae at a time and release back to that neutral pelvis. Let's do two more times here. Exhale, we roll up, up to the bridge. Chin position, inhale. Exhale, as you roll down, don't forget to lengthen your neck away. Keep that nose pointing towards the ceiling. And then release the pelvis and the tailbone at the end. Let's do one last one. Exhale. We roll up. Reach the pelvis, the hamstrings, the thigh bone towards the heels, towards the knees. Opening the collarbone here in breath. Exhale. Broadening through the front of the chest as we roll the spine down. And then release the pelvis back to that neutral position. Moving on to a spine twist supine. Slide your arms out to the T position. Float one leg up to tabletop. Second leg up. Duck the thighs together. Squeeze them tight. Let's rotate to me as we inhale. We twist. Exhale. Using abdominal, we take the legs back. And inhale. Exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath, we twist, exhale, two more times, in breath, exhale, make sure that your opposite shoulder stays down grounded on the floor as you rotate and your abdominal muscles pulling your legs back to the middle and as you twist your thigh bone stays together exhale sink the belly bring your legs back to the center last one here we inhale exhale as we return Okay, take a deep breath here as we breathe out. Scoop that belly in, lift that chest up. Bring your hands to that table, on the knee, sorry, and legs up in tabletop. Pull the knees slightly past 90. All right, let's go to a double leg stretch here. We inhale, we reach the arms and the legs away. Exhale, drag the legs back in. Inhale, we reach. Exhale. And in breath. Exhale, two more, in breath, exhale, last one, in breath, exhale, hands on the right knee, extend the left leg forward, let's go to a single leg stretch here, now, before we go on, can we lift the chest a little higher here, hold that new height, let's switch the leg, for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it on the one. Stay. Interlace the hands behind your head for a crisscross. We rotate to that knee, and then we switch. Ten. Out of way. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, find the rotation from the waist. Four, three, two, last one. Back to the center, drag the legs back in, release the head down, lower one foot down, second down. Let's stretch the legs long. Let's move on to our roll up here. Right, take your arms overhead, legs together. And here we go, we inhale, we lift the chest up to a chest leg position, make sure your legs are in the middle, mine were not, take a knee. Exhale, roll up, roll up, roll up, into that C curve, we in breath. Exhale, as we articulate the spine away from the legs, imprint that sacrum lower spine and take your arms overhead. Repeat again, we inhale, chest lift, Exhale, scoop deep as you peel the spine off the floor into that C curve. Inhale, exhale, sacrum back, lower back down, mid back down, and arms overhead. And let's do that again. We inhale, we lift. Exhale, we sink. 
Belly in, lift up, lift up, lift over. Don't forget to create some length in the spine as you are creating that C-curve position here. Then breathe out, roll the pelvis back, sacrum down, lower back down to the chest lift. Then take your arms overhead. Let's do one more time. Inhale, we'll lift. Exhale, we'll peel up, peel up, peel up and stay. Let's move on to a rolling like a ball. I like to add rolling like a ball in my warm up. So here, let's roll back about 20% backward and then drag the legs in. Grab the shin just above the ankle bones here. Balancing that little triangle spot with between the tailbone and the sitting bone. Gaze to your center. Your arms are working hard here. Balance, and let's go. We inhale, roll back to the shoulder. Exhale, we balance. Inhale, exhale, in breath. Exhale, three more. Exhale, two, one. Can we balance here for three, two, one, feet on the floor, let's cross the legs, transfer your hands forward, and then tuck the toes under, and can we push up, upside down, and start rolling the spine up, coming up to a standing position, moving on to our footwork. So I'm going to do it on the floor here, on a harder surface, it's a little bit more, give me a little bit more stable base. So we're going to do our footwork block standing. Okay, so we're gonna start with parallel feet, sort of parallel heels. And here we go, making sure your toes are pointing forward. We're lifting up that center upright and we inhale, send the knees forward. Keep that spine long. Exhale, we lift. In breath, exhale. And in breath, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, in breath, exhale, and last one, in breath, exhale, now come rise up onto the ball of your feet here. Now the arms are just a little variation from me. You can even place your hands on the side if you choose to do so. And let's go ahead, inhale, keep the heels up as you take your arms up. Exhale, inhale, Woo, tricky. And exhale, in breath. And three more. And watch the knee alignment, two. And last. Take the arms forward, heels together for the V position. And now we're gonna stay on the tiptoes here. Let's go, inhale, send the knees forward, we go down. Exhale, in breath. I like you to think of resisting that gravi a gravity pull as you go down. So I'm thinking about reaching up as I bend my knees and I pull my center and squeeze my inner thighs and lift up. Again, three more. Exhale, and two, exhale, and the last, exhale, lengthening up tall, heels come down. Okay, for our open V, let's take your arms down to the side here. Just make sure that your feet are not overly external rotation, rotated. I was about to lose myself there. Okay, here we go, we inhale, knee out. Exhale, and in breath. Make sure the thighs slide over your heels, over your feet, I meant. And you're finding the rotation coming from the hip socket. Yeah, and in breath. And again. Let's go one more time, and, and come back. Back. Now, rise up onto your tippy toes here, onto the ball of the feet. Let's take your arms out to the side. And let's go. And down. Exhale. 
and reach. Exhale, and reach. Exhale, three more. Two, and the last, and come on down. Bring your feet back to parallel position. Okay, we're going to our calf raises here. Let's transfer your hands to the back of your head here. So rising up onto the ball of the feet. Hold and then resist the length of the spine as you lower the heel down. And then rise up, spread the toes down on the floor and then resist down. And then rising up, hold the center and then resist down. I'm thinking of lifting my heel from my abdominal, from my center. I hold my center up there as I release, resist the heels down. And again, lifting up from my center and I resist the heels down. Let's do two more. Rise up and resist down. Last one. Rise up and resist down. Down. Okay, hands on your hips here. Now, I like to place your hands on the side here just to give a little tactile uh, cue for our prancing or prancer. So rise up onto your toes here. Now here, lower one heel down and then we we'll lift and then down and then lift. Work that glute medius muscle contained at pelvis in the middle. So we go in breath, inhale. And in breath, in breath, and Ooh, lost my balance. Two more sets, and last set. Exhale, rise up tall and come on down. Now for our prehensile, we're gonna work on our feet muscles. So just standing tall here, I like you to dome the feet up and then release that. So imagine you have pencil underneath the webbing of the toes. I want you to draw up that pencil up, doming and then release. And we go dome, and then release. Again, we go dome, create a nice arch, and then release. And three more, lift the arch and release. Two more, lift the arch and last one, lift the arch. Brilliant. Okay, now moving on to the tricky part here is our single leg footwork. So you may find, you may use a wall or a bench or a table or a chair as a help to help you to balance. So I'm gonna try without it for my heels position. And I probably need to use something when I'm on the ball of my foot. So I'm gonna take my left foot down and take my right leg up to the table. So I'm gonna place my hands here for balance here. So we're gonna inhale, send the knee forward and keep lifting up tall, exhale, coming up. Inhale, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not slouching my back here. I'm gonna lift my pelvic floor, I'm gonna lift my abdominal wall up and then up. We got inhale, exhale, three more in breath, exhale. I hope I'm even on my left and right, you'll be the judge of that. And the last one, and release, we switch. Got my right foot down, left leg up to a tabletop. Okay, this is my tricky part. We inhale and an exhale. Let's see if I can get my pelvis balance. And, and an in breath. And three more. Two. Last. Okay, release that. Now I'm going to use the edge of the bench to balance here. So we're gonna rise up, sorry, we're gonna take the right leg up to a tabletop again. And then we're gonna rise up onto the ball of the foot on the left. Now find that beautiful balance. Let's go ahead and send the knee forward. Exhale. And an in breath. Exhale. If you do not need to use the wall as an aid or the bench of the table, go ahead. 
I just don't think I can balance and talk at the same time. We in breath and an exhale. Two more in breath. Exhale. Quite challenging here. Last one. Exhale. Heel down and then we switch over to the other side. Got my left, my right foot down. Left leg up on the tabletop position. Rise up onto the ball of my foot. And we go in breath. Exhale. What's really important here is for you to stabilize the position of that planter. So reach that maximum planter and hold the foot there. And as you bend the knee, try not to drop the heel. And three more. Two. And the last. Heel down, release and shake it all out. Okay, let's go back to the mat here. Let's move on to our next block. It's our abdominal block. Right, standing up nice and tall. We're going to transition ourselves to the mat. We're going to roll down. Exhale, let's tip the pelt, tip the pelt. Let's tip the head down. Articulate the spine down. Take it all the way down to the floor. Bend the knees, send your pelvis down to the floor. Transfer your hands behind you. Now, feet forward. Okay, let's bring the legs together here. Arms forward, in breath. Exhale, let's roll back. Down, down. All right, take your arms overhead. All right, legs up, tabletop, one, two. We are going to do our coordination here. So let's take the palms up to the ceiling. Now here, let's breathe out. Lift up, extend. Open, close, in breath, drag, arms, return. Exhale. Shall we do two more? Last one here. Okay, lower one foot down. And second leg down. Keep the legs together. I like you to keep the angle of the knee slightly greater than normal. Turn the palms of the hands facing each other. Let's go ahead and inhale as we lift the chest up. And then we are going to roll up to sitting position and then lift the spine up tall. We're gonna do two more exercises in the abdominal block. So double leg stretch for your abdominal legs and strap, and then we're gonna add it with the rotation. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna scoop the belly in, and then we transition ourselves down to the floor, like you would have done it on the reformer. So stay in the chest lift position, and then transfer your arms back behind your head, one leg up to table, Second leg up to tabletop, and let's go ahead, we inhale, we stretch, exhale, shh. inhale, reach, exhale, pull it in, imagine you still have the strap on your thigh, we're going to resist as you lengthen the legs and then pull the abdominal as you pull the strap in, two more, reach, pull it in, last one, reach, pull it in, lower one foot down, Second down, take the arms forward. Let's scoop the belly deep and then let's roll up, up, up. Lift the spine up tall. Let's go down again for the rotation version. We scoop the belly in. We roll it back, back to the chest lift position. Then transfer your hands behind your head. Lift one leg up to table. Second leg up to table. We inhale, reach out. Exhale, let's rotate towards me. Inhale, center. Exhale, we twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, out. Find a rotation from the waistline here. Try to get the shoulder blades off the floor. Center. Last set. Last one. And center. Pull the knees in. 
One leg down, second leg down, and we'll lift up, sink the belly, let's roll up, roll up, roll up. A bit of a punch of the belly, isn't it? Okay, well done. Let's move on to our hip work block here. So we're gonna roll the spine down again. Send yourself down to the floor, hands down, head down. Okay, we are going to do our frock down circle, up circle and opening here. So transfer the legs up to the tabletop position. Externally rotate your thigh. Dorsiflex the feet like you would do your frock. Here, as you breathe out, sink the belly in, send your legs diagonally out. Inhale. Now you choose the angle that is comfortable for you. All right, not too low that you're lifting up the lower back or you're arching your back. And you know, not too easy that you don't feel that challenge in your abdominal. Now let's go three more. Exhale, reach the heel out. Inhale, drag it in. Two more. Exhale, in breath. Make sure your inner thighs are also active here as you pull the legs in. Stay. Extend the legs up to the ceiling, stretch it up. External rotate your legs. Let's go to your down circle. We exhale, inhale, out, up, together. Exhale, and again, keep the external rotation, you go down, only go down to where you can still control the, your spine and your pelvis position here. One more time, exhale, and center, reverse, out, down, for the up circle, inhale out, exhale, Inhale, exhale, and two more. The last one, and we stay for the openings. We inhale, take the legs out to the side. Make sure the heel stays in the same height as you pull in and out. In breath, exhale. In breath. Three more. Two. Last here. Legs parallel. Send the knees in. One foot down, second down. And moving on to our spinal articulation block. We are going to do our semi-circle here. So into external rotation at the hips, mobile position. Okay. So setting yourself up like a pelvic curl, but instead of having the legs in parallel, you are in a small V position or V position here. And then let's scoop the center in, imprint the lower spine and start peeling the spine up to that bridge jink position. Now here, rise up onto the ball of your feet. Take your arms up overhead, press the back of your arms down, and let's roll the spine down. Release the pelvis at end, keep the heels up in breath. Exhale, let's roll it up again. Send the energy of your thigh forward over your knees and your feet. And exhale, keep reaching the arms away from the spine as you articulate the spine away towards your feet. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, we roll up. Send the pelvis up, 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 in breath. Exhale, melting the vertebrae one at a time and release back to the bottom in breath. Exhale, use the abdominal, then use the hamstrings and the abdominal at the same time as you finish yourself all the way up to your highest point here. And exhale, roll it down again. Make sure those arms are active here. They're not just sort of resting on the floor, but they're actively reaching away from the spine. Let's do one more time. Exhale, we roll up roll up, 
roll up my inner thighs are working too and I exhale to roll it down again and once you reach a pelvis back on the floor release the heels down take your arms down by the side stretch the legs long one two we are going to transition ourselves to our stretches block we lift the head and the chest up turn the palms of the arm facing each other, make sure you are in the middle, and then exhale, lift up, C curve, C curve, C curve, and lift the spine up tall. Cross the legs, transfer your hands forward, feet back, come up to a kneeling position. We are gonna do my translation of the kneeling lunge. So let's, I'm gonna have my right foot forward here, gonna have my left foot tucked under behind me, okay. So the front shin bone is going to be vertical here. Now the pelvis is going to be slightly posterior. Now I want you to think about reaching the pelvis slightly forward to feel that stretch in your hip flexors, your iliacus, right? And your psoas too. Now maybe you may need to go a little bit more forward, just readjust the leg position in front. Make sure there are still, it is still vertical. Okay, lifting up the center, the arms come right up to the ceiling. I'm gonna take myself forward a little bit more. Okay, lengthening up hips forward, pulling the center in. Okay, now we're just gonna stay here, in breath. Exhale. Two more breath. Last breath. Now tip the pelvis slightly anterior, lean your body forward, take your hands down to the floor, dorsiflex the front foot, the right foot, and now extend the front knee, taking yourself to a hamstring stretch here. So what I like you to think about is actively lengthening your back extensors, and then lifting up the abdominal muscles at the same time and reaching the front heel forward as you actively try to pull the toes to your hip. Stay in breath. Exhale. In breath. Two more sets. Last set. Foot down. Bring the pelvis underneath you. And let's just change to the second side. So right foot back, left foot forward here. All right, again, bring the pelvis up and send your pelvis slightly posteriorly here. Take the arms forward. You can send that pelvis slightly forward, but I don't want you to hang in that lower spine. So pulling up the abdominal muscle as you actively press the pelvis forward and bring the pelvis slightly posteriorly. Stay here once you have that spot. And we're just gonna breathe, inhale. Exhale. Now I have a tendency to roll out of my back foot. So try, I'm thinking of pressing the big toe of my back foot down to the floor, so I'm not sort of actually rotated my legs out, my ankle out, sorry. Inhale, exhale. Let's go, two more, inhale. Last one. And then tip the pelvis forward as you lean the body, forward or hinge down, take your arms down to the floor, dorsiflex the front foot, the left foot, reach the leg or extend the knee for your hamstring stretch. Again, actively lengthen your back extensors and your abdominal muscles here. So core contract them together. We stay here, inhale, exhale. 
The more you try to send the pelvis anteriorly, the more you're gonna deepen that stretch of the hamstring in the left leg. In breath. Two more. Last one. And release the foot, knee forward, pelvis under, and take the front leg back. Moving on to our full body integration part one, we're going to do scooter, knee stretches, round back, and flat back. All right, let's set ourselves to a quadruped position here. Shoulders and your hands align, hips and your knees align. Now go ahead and draw the abdominal in and bring yourself into a little cat curl, so spinal flexion. Now we hold that spinal flexion. I want to reach your arms forward and place it down. So your shoulders are not aligned with your hands anymore here, but you really still trying to push the floor away and go into the deep, deep, flexion hold that position let's take your right knee off the floor and pull it in front of you towards your hand and then we extend exhale stay in that flexion and out and out two more last one Place the right knee down, stay in that deep flexion. Let's take the left knee off. Have them so have it slightly floating off the ground. We inhale out, exhale. Out. Out. Keep that deep flexion. Use your abdominal. Two more. Last one. Place the knee down, tuck the toes under, send the pelvis towards the heels, bring your arms with you, and now just give me a nice long spine position here. So we're not in a flexion anymore here, but in a nice, a nice long back position. What we're going to do here, all right, we're gonna scoop the belly in, keep the hands where they are. We're gonna pull that center and bring your body halfway between your knees, not sorry, bring your shoulder halfway between your knees and your hands here. Now, really go into that deep flexion in the abdominal, press the feet down. This is gonna be a lot of fun to everyone. So, press the feet down, lift the knees off, stay in that flexion, right foot off. Knee forward, out, exhale. Let's do eight, two, three, four. Stay back, five, stay back. Six, seven, last. Place the foot down, stay in that flexion. Let's take the left foot off, forward and then out. Two, stay in that flexion. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, and bring it in. We're not done yet. Stay, stay up. Extend the back. So nice long flat back. Let's go to our knee stretch flat back here. Take the right foot off and we go out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in. Out of foot and then out. Two, keep the back long. Three, four, five, six, seven, last eight. Place the foot down, knee down, release. Sit back for a quick rest position and roll up. Wow, how was that? All right, guys, let's move on to our arm block. This is where we need our arm weights. Okay, let's grab them. We're going to do our sitting arm series. So, bring your body upright. Now, if you find it quite challenging for you to actually sit upright, you may bend the knees slightly, but try your best to find that beautiful, Spinal alignment, okay? And if it's still troublesome for you, 
or tricky. You may sit on a block or cushion to help you sit a little taller. All right, let's move, let's start. Okay, start with our chest expansion here. Finding that beautiful alignment. I'm hoping that I'm equal left and right here, I'm not lopsided. Right here, let's go. Press the arms back. Now, think about your latissimus dorsi. Glide that latissimus dorsi down to your mid back as you take the arms back. Exhale. Four more. Three. Two. Last. Arms forward for the biceps. Here we go. And extend. Three. Let's do eight each here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And the last one. Still sitting up tall for the rhomboid. Now, elbows about 90 degree here. Now we're gonna open the elbows out. Keep the shoulder blades away from each other. So skip the shoulders alignment at the back. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. And then we're going to add the retraction and the protraction. I'm gonna sort of face the other way so you understand what I'm trying to explain here to you. So we have the elbows out. Now bring the two shoulder blades together, retract them, elbows move back to, separate them, protract them, and forward the elbow. Out, glide them in. Glide then out, two more. Out, glide, pull back, open, close. Last one, glide, pull back, forward, and release. Hope you got that. Let's move on to our hug a tree here. All right, still sitting up tall, arms out to the side. We take the arms forward and then we open. Exhale, stay tall, in breath. Now think about your pec muscle in front here, moving or taking the arms forward. But as you bring the arms forward in front of you, broaden the shoulder as much as you can. And out, two more. And out. Last one, and out, salute, hand forward. We extend, and return, extend, and return. On three, take your hand the same line, one straight line, slightly diagonally up in front of the shoulder. And two more. Last one, well done, and let that go. You can put your arm weight to the side now. We move on to our leg work block. So we're going to do our hamstring curl. Have your hands like so, stack up like so, and the palms facing towards your chest. So going onto a prone position on our belly. Imagine you are lying on that long box, okay? So press one forearm in front of the other against that imaginary box. All right, now I don't want you to sink in that back. I want to lift off the floor. Your upper back and your mid backs are active here. Now, energy out through the legs. Make sure they are straight behind you. Now we're going to do the right leg first, so we're going to inhale, reach the right leg to hip extension, exhale, bend the knee, inhale, reach out, exhale, and inhale, reach out, exhale, keep the 
legs off the floor all the time. And the next step. One more knee flexion. And the next ten. And lower it down. Let's go to the other side. Inhale as you reach the left leg long. Now keep the length in the lower back here as you reach the leg off the floor. So which means your abdominal has to be awake. Let's go. Bend the knee as you exhale. Inhale. Reach out. Exhale. Inhale. Reach out. And three more. We reach and two, and reach, last one, and reach, and lower, have those legs together, let's do double, let's bring those legs off as you inhale, keep the legs in lower spine, we exhale, contract the hamstrings here, and extend, one, exhale, inhale, lengthening up, out, out, exhale. Ooh, my legs are shaking, which means I'm working hard here. I hope yours are two. And again, two more. And extend, reach. Last one. And extend, reach, shake, hold it up. And well done, release. Okay, bring your forearm on the side of the shoulder, push the floor away, pull the belly in. Bring the pelvis to your heels for a quick rest position and roll the spine up, sitting up tall. All right, face me for the mermaid lateral and retrofraction and the rotation block system. Block system, block, full stop, not block system. All right, take your arms out to the side. All right, try to get, if you can't, try to get both sitting bone down. Right, if you can, just do your best. Right, arms out to the side here. Like the reformer, we're gonna inhale, lengthening out. Then the hands gonna rest down to the floor, but you still have this beautiful long spine position. Please do not slouch. Give me more length. Then as you exhale, we're gonna pivot from the bottom shoulder. We're gonna reach the top arm out, like you have the hands on the reformer bar and then we open as we in breath contract the obliques pull yourself up and again inhale lengthening out exhale inhale face me exhale lift up two more inhale lengthening long Exhale, reach, reach long, and inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, now to transition onto the other side, hands behind you, bring the legs together, extend, and switch out. Just a variation, it's not in the book. Okay, off again. Big go, elongate the spine, reach out, lengthening out, hand down. And we pivot from the bottom shoulder and then we're gonna reach the arm across and back. Come up. Again, lengthen, reach, and open, reach, and lengthen, out, in breath, one more. Lengthening. Go long, long, far away. And then out. Exhale. And let it go. Last part. 
the back extension block. So moving on to our front, we're going to do our pulling strap one and pulling straps two. Now have your arms onto the side of your thigh. So the pulling straps one, my translation is actually going to be our basic back extension in the mat exercise. So here we are. Energy out through the legs, lifting the abdominal wall. We're going to slide the arms down as we take our spine into extension. Exhale. And down. Inhale, glide the arms down. We lift our back, neck is long. Exhale. And down. Inhale, we reach. Make sure your hamstrings are working here. I'm sending my pelvis down to my feet and which means my glute, my glute muscle also working. Again, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. We stay here and Exhale, take your arms out to the side. We hold it on inhale. Pulling straps two, and we slide the arms down. Can we lift a little higher? Inhale, to the T position. Exhale, lift. Inhale, T position. Exhale, make sure that shoulders are staying, staying in external rotation here. Open chest. And your palms are facing down to the floor. In breath. One more. Exhale. Lift. Inhale. Out. Bend the elbows. Forearms down. And push the floor away. Pull the belly in. Send your pelvis back to the rest position. We stay here for a well-deserved rest. We in breath. Exhale. Two more. Let's do one more time here. Now let's tuck your toes under and bring your hands closer to your knees and push the floor and bring your body to upside down, feet parallel. We're going to finish the class with some roll down. Let the body dangle. Easy on the shoulder, easy on the neck. We in breath. As we exhale, press the feet down, softening the knees and start drawing the abdominal wall, bringing the pelvis to a vertical alignment, stacking up the lumbar spine. Thoracic, cervical, and the head forwards. Let's do that one more time. We inhale. Exhale. As we dive the head forward, reticulate the spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae, softening the knees as we tip the pelvis forward. Go into a deeper flexion at the hips if we can. Inhale. And exhale, softening the knees as we roll the spine up and up and up, finding that beautiful upright, elongated, lifting alignment. We stay here. Give me another set of breath. Inhale. Exhale. And you are done. Thank you for joining me on a mat today. I hope to see you in another class. Have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. 
click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.